is it i've lost all concept of like time and dates in this move just like everything's muddling together it's a saturday that's what day it is it's like 7 p.m yeah i'm starting this a little late <laughs> First of all, obviously moving house, lots and lots to do. And I'm only just now getting around to my office because my office is quite honestly the least of our problems right now. It's not too bad. There is there is still a little bit of a mess that I want to sort out today. Um, obviously there's like a box there still. I still really need to sort out these shelves as well. Like I really just kind of threw things on last video. Um, so especially down there, need to sort it out a little bit. I don't know how much I'm gonna get done today, but I thought I'd just make a start at least. I vlogged about a week ago now, I think. I think that was the last time I vlogged. Um, nothing much to report, it just, it's it's been kind of hard. I thought I'd be able to vlog a lot more than I have, but I guess I didn't take into account the fact that I wouldn't just be unpacking a studio, I'd be unpacking a full house. So, you know, I've been working on like a lot of other stuff for the house. We went to Aldi today for our first big shop and one thing I found was these, these little light lanterns. They were like three pounds, they were very, very cheap, um, but I just thought why not? I was gonna get two boxes, but then I, I just, I was like, mm, we'll see how it goes. I'm not sure, I'm probably gonna put them, I'll probably put them above my desk. I think that would be quite nice. I'm kind of having, I'm kind of gonna make this like an art wall. Back in my old house, I felt like I had so much art for the walls. And I guess now I, I feel like I don't. I feel like my walls are really bare in terms of like art prints and stuff. So once we've gotten like settled in the house and I'm not spending loads of money on furniture and stuff, I'm probably gonna be looking to buy some art prints and stuff um, from, you know, fellow small businesses, which is awesome because I do love a good excuse to buy art prints. Another thing I need to do is I need to get my, my little light that I have on my wall. I used to hang it up with I used to have it hanging with blue tack, but I think I'm gonna do it with nails this time or command strips. I might actually use command strips for it instead because it doesn't really look nice with the blue tack and it never stayed up very well and I was just kind of like, well, it feels a little pointless. So that's another thing I wanna get done. Um, but yeah, it feels like a little bit more like an office right now and less like a studio, like an art studio because the walls are very white and like I've just got massive shelves and nothing really looks like it's in place yet because it's not. Um, so I think it's going to take a little while for me to actually get this room to a point where I'm like, this feels like an art studio and this is what I want it to look like. Um, and I think these lanterns will help that. I definitely. I do love some pretty fairy lights. Okay, let's um, turn them on. I'll show you guys what they look like. Oh, they're so cute. How cute! Oh my god, these are so pretty! I love these. I want them off right now, but I can't start hammering because it's like 7 o'clock at night and I'm not that kind of neighbour. So I'm just gonna leave them for tonight, but this would be such a good thing to do tomorrow. There's nowhere to put anything! Probably not anytime soon because we have to buy a lot of other stuff But my plan would be to get some shelves either over there or Right behind you next to these shelves like some display shelves for like figurines and like I've got a bunch of like just Like if you can see on the window just fake plants and like I also got a real plant now as well um, I repotted it so I don't know if it's gonna survive but I tried my best I did kill I had two spider plants and I killed one of them by mistake. I overwatered it <laughs> I cared for it too much apparently. Okay, I think in terms of like that side of the room, it's all done. I think the main problem now is just organizing uh, these shelves a little more. I'm thinking, I'm thinking I might get my acrylic tear stand out that I use for markets. I don't really have many like events planned. I've got one in October, which is a Comic Con. I'm gonna try another Comic Con because I haven't really got any events planned and or, like I'm not doing as many as what I was last year. I think having my acrylic tear stand on here would be a good idea and then I can just take it down um, when I go to market stalls and stuff or events. I think it would be a lot better to have like these products especially standing up. I don't want them laying down. I want them like stood up so it's just easy to like pick out. Someone actually bought a p acrylic pin from me today and it was so easy just to go like, oh, acrylic pin and just pick one up. It was like, it was actually really nice. I've never 
felt this organized in my small business before it's so nice to like feel like I've just I feel so organized and like I feel like an actual business now like it's it's really really helped having these shelves even though I've only had them for a week I already just see a difference and feel a difference and it's just I just I can't believe it it's just like it's all happened so fast and it's like my business has changed so much in like two weeks and I'm just like what's going on <laughs> okay, let's clean this up a little bit yeah, because I have like my pencil cases, I have bookmarks and sticker sheets and even though this launch is probably going to be really late, <laughs> I'm still planning to do it. It's going to be probably like end of October, early November time. Not great. People are already doing like Halloween launches and stuff and I'm like, yep, still haven't started that. <laughs> I'm probably not going to do a Halloween or Christmas launch this year because it, I just never feel like my Christmas or Halloween themed products sell that well. I sold a decent amount of Christmas cards last year, so I'll, I'll probably sell those again because I still have some from last year, but I'm not going to do any more Halloween stuff that I already have. Thing is, as well, I have like, I still have all of my like tote bags and stuff in, in this box, so I'm like, well, I kind of need to get all that sorted as well, and I'm like, Because these ones back here, those ones at the very back are my convention mugs. So I won't need them unless it's a convention. I might actually just get another storage box and put all of my convention stuff in a box out of the way, ready to go when there's markets and stuff. Because um, I don't I don't need them on the shelves. It's just, it's where they are currently. Again, I have a lot of... Um, tote bags that are for conventions so I'll probably push them in the back as well because I don't need them out. Yeah I definitely think I need more lights in here like light sources not just cute little fairy lamps because I, I have the light on right now and the blinds are closed because it's getting dark and like I have one little light up there and I'm just like it's not doing a lot in terms of camera stuff like it's getting winter as well and if it's like gonna be winter like it's gonna get dark really quickly and that means that Unless I faced light source, it I just look it looks really dark. But like it's gonna get darker much earlier, and I'm gonna need the light on a lot more. So I'm gonna need a lot more light sources. I could potentially get like a, a thin lamp in that corner or something. Maybe I could even get like a lamp for the the shelves uh, over there. That'd be quite nice. But yeah, the light source in terms of like filming and stuff isn't the best unless I'm facing directly to it. If I turn around. Not the best. <laughs> All I've got left now, I actually, I just need to put that suitcase in there, in the um, storage, and then I take these out of the box, and then I can put this box down, and that should be pretty much my my small business space cleared up, other than obviously that shelf. I'm still contemplating what to do with that, but we're making really good progress. I'm really, really happy. It looks so good, and oh my god, like I have so many products. I just, when you see it laid out like this, it's like so much more than you, you think. Like I just, I've never seen all my products laid out. I have a lot of stuff. <laughs> I literally just turned on those lantern lights because I wanted to see them again, like not in daylight. And they're literally more powerful than that bulb up there. That's that's insane. They're, look at how bright that is. Like that, I mean, it looks the same on camera, but just trust me, I put them on and I was like, whoa, this whole corner I just got way brighter. Like fairy lights aren't usually this powerful, but they're, they're so cute. Oh, I can't wait to get these up. I need to get these up tomorrow. up for an hour but um it looked pretty good I, I liked it a lot better here for some reason it didn't look quite right over there i might just get like like, a, like maybe like another painting would go quite nice there but yeah the art wall is definitely coming along i did prefer it up here it'd also be kind of nice as well while i'm working to like have it there rather than in the corner i have like a little lamp down here um and then yeah i'm gonna get honestly i'm kind of like do i want the lanterns there or do i want them over here because there's nothing actually on this wall and I'm like well if I have 
this at light here and I have a bunch of lights on my desk. This area is going to be pretty well lit and I'll have a bunch more art prints and stuff to go up eventually. So I'm like, maybe they would look better up here. Just give this wall something. <laughs> I'm not sure. I could test it and see how we go. I don't know. Maybe I should have just gotten two lots of these and then I could have had one on this wall and one on that wall. I could always go back to Aldi, I suppose, if I wanted to. I don't know. I kind of like, the, even though I've got a lot of lights and stuff over at my desk, I'm like, well, I kind of want them above my art wall, but they would, but this wall seems so plain and I'm just like, I need to do something with it. I can't just leave it bare. So I am gonna, to be fair, I am gonna get some shelves up there. Once I get some shelves up there, that wall won't be bare anymore. It is literally just because uh, I don't have I don't have shelves yet. I might put the lanterns on over my desk then, even though there's gonna be a lot of light sources over there. <laughs> I could always, because I have a couple of desk like desk lamps, I could always put those desk lamps on the shelves, which would be quite good. I'm definitely gonna get some vines and stuff, like some garland for these like silver bits here. A lot of you guys were saying actually to maybe put some, it's like adhesive, like I forget what it's called, it's like that vinyl stuff you can just lie down flat and it sticks to like surfaces. That is a very good idea, I, I would definitely consider that, but to be honest, the wood part doesn't bother me as much, it's mostly just the metal, but I, like I said, if I get some garland and I, I could always paint it, it's not the end of the world, it is, it is fine for now, um, but I could definitely make it look prettier in the future. See, I want it like further over there though. Mm. No. No, like not where you're running. <laughs> Like there, like I want them like up here. Oh right, okay. I don't know why they're going. Up there? Do you want the nails in like a perfectly straight line? It's so wobbly. That's a bit better. If only we were just like eight feet tall, this would be really easy. I thought you were. You stuck on a tray? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna like need a... Oh, are you sure? I'm not gonna stand on it, I'm just leaning on it. Okay. Hammer. Like Thor, something like this with a hammer in my hand. I'll just go with Thor. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't seen the Thor movies. You've seen the Avengers movies. <laughs> <laughs> now I just need something for that thick blue pack. That'd be good. Yes. Wee! Hey, there you go. They're not very straight, but it's okay. You know what? It's my character. Cause you, you wanted them hanging down. Yeah, but like, I just mean that part up there is like much further up than like that. It starts like Oh, right, yeah. okay. oh, they're really nice. I should have bought like loads more. I should have bought 500 packets of these lanterns. Friday the 6th of September. I can't remember the last time I filmed. I know I put up those lights the last time I filmed um, and I think that was like a week ago. Yeah. <laughs> last two weeks have been crazy in terms of like, like the first two weeks we were here were crazy in terms of having to like build everything and get everything sorted. That this week has just been, it's been more chill but I've been so drained and burned out from like having to do everything that we've done over the past couple of weeks. So what I wanted after work every single day to start doing my designs and stuff and getting stuff ready for the launch that I'm gonna be doing in October, but I just haven't been and that sucks. I was so disappointed in myself, but at the same time, I kind of knew that I needed that break. But it is Friday, it is after work, and I am getting some designs done. I'm working on another sticker sheet. I would like maybe, I'd like maybe another two sticker sheets. I already have one done. I've got a binder clip. I think actually I've got two binder clips. I've got three washi tapes. Um, actually I've got four washi tapes. I still have the Surf Frog one as well um, that I need to finish. Um, and I've got two sticker sheets so far. I'd like ideally, um, two or three maybe even four sticker sheets for this launch it's gonna be a very sticker sheet heavy launch because i got the silhouette now to be honest i couldn't really be bothered to draw um 
today but I just started doing it anyway I was like I'll just doodle a couple things at least I can get some ideas down at the very least I don't have to like finish anything today and I've actually been really enjoying it I don't think I realized how much I actually missed drawing when I was like moving house because obviously I've had no time to draw at all uh, or do anything creative or anything really so I've just been having a nice little uh, doodle session but yeah I am probably just gonna work on these designs for the next couple of hours it's like half six so probably not the next couple of hours but like for like another hour or something and then I've got all tomorrow as well lots of stuff's happening the house is coming together very very well for anyone that's interested in knowing it's very homey now we've got pretty much everything we need other than some sofas it's been really annoying because we've been sitting on our office chairs for like the past it'll be three weeks on Monday how did it go so fast it went so fast but yeah we got some office chairs um so we've been sitting on those for like three weeks now like all day i'll sit at my desk like working my full-time job and then i'll go into the sitting room like i'll roll my chair into the sitting room and then we'll just sit on our office chairs like watching movies and stuff i have sat on the floor quite a bit as well but i i do I really want a sofa now. <laughs> I really want to be able to like sit comfortably. I was like thinking as well like it would be nice to do these designs from the comfort of a sofa but we have to wait for it to like be delivered. It's going to take a couple more weeks. Yeah things are moving along very nice. I feel like I can finally start getting back to this launch that I completely abandoned like a month ago. <laughs> Not any like Halloween-y kind of themed products in this launch. My Halloween products have never really done well so I just don't feel the need to to do them again. Um, I do have Halloween sticker sheets um, that didn't sell last year that I'm probably going to try to get rid of this year. When you're a bigger brand I think seasonal launches work a bit better because people will buy your products because they like you or your art style or whatever and I feel like I'm just not quite established yet to do seasonal stuff. Christmas stuff? Fair enough. For the most part. I did Christmas cards last year and they did pretty well but even most of my other Christmas stuff that I've done has never really done that well either. Um, so I'm just going to kind of focus on just products that I want to do that aren't seasonal and then hopefully people will still buy them for like Christmas presents and stuff like that. Like the sticker sheets and the washi tape. So like they'll be really cute little stocking fillers. So that's my plan. <laughs> um, so yeah, I would like more binder clips as well because my binder clips have been doing very well. That's what I'm doing. I'm still coming up with ideas as well. I feel like I've been with this launch changing my mind a lot. I'm really happy with the products that I've done so far. I'm really happy with them. But there's been a lot of times where I've like this where I've had designs and I'm like, oh I'm gonna make it into this and this and this and then I decide actually I don't want to do that or I'm not happy with this design and I'm gonna start again. Like I've been very not indecisive with this launch. I guess very picky is the word I'm looking for. Um so I'm still kind of coming up with ideas and kind of brainstorming a little bit. A lot of my ideas I already have. I just want a couple extra. I'd like a couple extra brightener clips and stuff. So I'm feeling very good about this launch. And it's probably because I haven't done a launch for like, oh my god, I think my launch was in April, the last one I did. So it's been a long time since I did my last launch. And this one isn't going to be out till October, so I'm just, I'm so excited to get it out of my shop. It feels good. It feels good to finally be making progress again with this launch. So that's my plan for this weekend. <laughs> and it's sweating so I'm gonna take this off <laughs> it's really hot outside it was so it was like raining this morning it was so dark and miserable and then I went outside to the shop just now to get a few things and it was really really warm like I was sweating and I just had a jacket on so yeah <laughs> so last night I got quite a bit done actually um I was pretty happy I mean I just got the sketch for the sticker sheet done but I honestly because I wasn't really in the mood to draw yesterday or I wasn't in the mood when I started drawing I didn't expect to get much done at all I really want to finish that sticker sheet today. I'm really in the mood to finish it or at least do the line art but I know I need to work on my washi tapes because I, I'm gonna be making my stickers like in 
the it, like in here like with my silhouette so it's like I can make those anytime I could design them at the end of September and still have them ready for the launch like it's not gonna be that big of a deal whereas the washi tapes I'm getting manufactured so I'm like well I'm gonna need to get those done soon yeah um I'm gonna work on those today like the sketches for the two designs that I've got and also I want to at least finish one of my washi tapes the space bubble one is almost done I just haven't got a background for it yet like I just can't think of what to do for the background it's just not not as it's not where I want it to be I don't hate it I just don't love it as much as I'd like right now so yeah I'm gonna be getting on with the washi tape designs so in terms of designs, this is where I got up to yesterday with the, the sketches. Obviously it's just a quick sketch, not the best right now, but I just wanted to get my ideas down. This is another idea that I've had that I'm going to be turning into a binder clip, um, slash like sticker sheet. And then I've got my washi tapes. This is the space bubble one. Pretty happy with it, honestly. It does need to be lightened up. It is, this, the bobas especially are incredibly dark. That one is done, that one's been done for a while. Then I've got this one, which I started sketching, and I really like. I really like the background on it. I just need to finish that up. And this one, I have no idea what I'm doing with anymore. It looks horrible right now. <laughs> so I really, really need to fix this up. But hopefully I can figure it out, and we can do this in this launch as well. I would like four washi tapes altogether rather than just three. I think four would be good, four to choose from. Especially because two of them are like the same, like the ocean boba and the space boba. Different themes, but same kind of concept. So I would like an extra one, like the frog one. So yeah, that's what I'm working on today. <laughs> done it is pretty much almost there now i'm really happy with how it's coming out i think it's really really cute it just needs a bit of shading a bit of lighting all that rendering fun i'm gonna take a break for now jack will be coming home soon and we've kind of like decided to have like a little date night we're gonna make, do some like legos i got some like well <laughs> legos <laughs> they're like fake legos i got them off tiktok shop but like like they're kind of like lego flowers basically so we're gonna be building those so we're gonna be having a relaxed night tonight i've been drawing for like four hours now i'm getting a little tired i feel like i need a little bit of a break and yeah we're making pretty good progress if i can get them done the washi tapes over the weekend and also get that binder clip done i'll be able to put in an order hopefully by next weekend if not then definitely the weekend after that's the latest i want to put in this order with my manufacturer so we are coming along now um sticker sheets again are gonna be on the back burner for a while until i can get everything else finished but we'll see um i've been really enjoying drawing lately because i haven't done it for like an entire month <laughs> since i've been moving so yeah i'm gonna take a little break and potentially get back to it tonight so it's the next day i was planning to like get ready and do a bunch more art today but honestly it's like it's three o'clock right now this morning i was editing my video and then um, my mum actually wanted me to print out some photos for her, um, because she's decorating the house. So I was like, okay, cool, I'll do that, and I'll print out a couple of photos, because I had some frames, and I thought, I'll, I'll print out some photos. I really wanted some art prints as well, so I went on Etsy, and I bought some digital download art prints, so I could print them off myself, and I hung those up this morning. Let me show you guys, they're so cute. So this is the first one, I have to show it at an angle, otherwise the light 
gets in the way, but this is the first one. I absolutely love this. I love the paintwork, but I also, it just reminds me of like a Studio Ghibli movie. It just, it's so bright and colorful. I absolutely love it. I think it looks so good. It really brightens up that corner quite a lot, which I like. Um, and I got another one as well. This one is probably my favorite. I just absolutely love the style of the artwork and it's just such like, I just, I love cats. I think it's so cute. I love like the koi fish and everything. I just, this one makes me so happy. And yeah, I put that above my, um, my computer so I could like see it every day. So I added a couple more art prints to my art wall. Um, making slow progress with it. There's still a lot to do. I still need like to do this side and everything. I do want quite a few more prints and stuff on here, but that's it for now. So I just decided to like print those off this morning and get those up and stuff. Um, I didn't really film it. I didn't really think about it because I didn't plan to do this today. So when I was doing it, I was like, oh, I could have filmed it, but I just forgot about it because like I said, didn't plan to do this. It just kind of happened, but I'm really glad because I've had these these frames for a while. So I'm really glad I was able to, to use them now. And I just think it's so pretty. I feel like they just make my office look so much more colorful and nice and I want a lot more art prints like that as well in the future but those are just the two that I got for now they were digital downloads so they were pretty cheap I'll try to remember to link to them in the description in case you guys are interested I was really hoping I'd get to film more um, in this vlog um, but it has already been like 10 days since I uploaded the last vlog so I really want to get this edited and uploaded now but we did a little bit we made we did decorate the room a little more. Um, it is coming together, especially this wall over here um, with like the lights and then the new the new pictures and everything. It is slowly coming together. You know, I still have a lot left to do um, with this office. So there will be in like the coming vlogs, there'll be a lot of like, you know, adding stuff and decorating and stuff still. Um, but I am finally making some headway with the launch. So I'm so happy about that. I did make a lot of progress with my washi tapes. I think I could probably actually order those next week, which would be awesome and do like a restock slash, you know, buy my launch products in from my manufacturer. And then I can focus on sticker sheets. It's all kind of coming together now and I'm very very happy about that. If you guys like this video then please subscribe and you'll probably also like my last video. It was my moving vlog where I moved into this new place and I showed the whole process of moving from my bedroom into this new office. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!